I came to Provincetown in 1982 to start uh, kind of a life as an artist. One of the things that happens when you don't go to art school is that you, there's nowhere you graduate and say you're an artist, so it's a struggle as an individual to uh, find a way for yourself to be an artist and to feel like an artist and to accept, oh my God, I'm, I'm an artist. And, and I've been having those kind of moments for like 35 years. I first discovered Marion's work in a local Provincetown gallery and I had a reaction to it that I've only had maybe two or three other times in my life. Uh, when I saw Henry Moore, when I saw Mark Rothko, and I started crying. Um, it touched me so deeply. When I look at you know her work and how it's changed and reinvented itself, it's such a strong body of work that, and, and, and that, a lot of that is credit to her being gutsy enough to, to, to do that. When I first came, my work was uh, seascapes. You know, I just was totally intrigued with that. And I also did a series called The Working Women of Provincetown. And then I discovered pinhole photography. Then I was insane for pinhole, and I did pinhole photography. Uh, up really until I got cancer. When I met her, she was primarily doing pinhole photography. I, you know, seen her work. I had seen her around town in her van. She was uh, setting up trash cans across the street, using any kind of large object that she turned into a camera, which was great. And then a few years later, she started taking classes here, and she started taking painting classes. She took classes with Bob Henry and Selena Treef. And then she started taking printmaking classes and she was taking classes with Vicky. And I watched her make a huge shift from one medium to two completely different media. And what in turn happened is that she took what she learned, printmaking and painting, and reinvented a new technique back to photography by incorporating what she learned and, and creating a new process. Mary and I became friends immediately. Um, she was doing traditional photography, and I was always a painter. And um, somehow we had a very rich exchange of ideas and, and principles and um, sort of uh, social mores about being an artist. But I actually see her as quite a rebel, as a protest against reality. If reality were enough, uh, no artist would add to it. I'm just, I'm very fortunate that she has been in my life for a number of reasons. Marian isn't capturing a moment in time. She's taking photographs of time itself, how it passes, how it bends with light. The future of contemporary art is still happening in Provincetown, it's still happening at the museum, and it's still happening through Marion Roth.